Welcome on into the Friday Night 360 AZ Preview Show. I'm Jordan Hamm alongside Haley Stasiak, and we have a huge week opening round of the playoffs. Uh, we decided to blow it out, have plenty of guests. We're trying to cover a lot of ground here. We're going to have three coaches and Ralph Amsden on. Uh, so we're going to have uh, Steve Decker from Sunrise Mountain at the 4A level, Patrick Nugent from Sienega at the 5A level, and then Jeremy Hathcock from Desert Ridge from the 6A level. And then wrapping things up, we're going to do kind of a, a broad strokes segment with Ralph Amsden from Arizona Varsity. So going to cover a lot of ground. With that, we're going to bring in Coach Decker from Sunrise Mountain. Coach, how are you? Great. How are you guys doing? Doing awesome. Congratulations on the one seed. I know with this 4A division this year, that wasn't an easy thing to do. Uh, how do you think that getting that top seed and, and being that one seed is really helping motivate your team this week? Well, yeah, I think, you know, our kids are really excited about it. You know, at the end of the day, um, you know, Saguaro beat us head to head with a last second field goal. So, you know, in my mind, they're the number one seed until somebody knocks them off. But it's just good for our kids to see that they're recognized that they're doing things right and you know they like it so Keegan Freed at quarterback he's a very talented dual threat guy how has he developed as the season has progressed yeah you know that's funny that you say that uh, we talk a lot about that you know Keegan started off um, really just as an athlete at quarterback and just with everything that we're doing, trying to get him dialed in on our reads and everything that's going on, you know, as the, as the years progressed, he's really turned into a really quality quarterback, which is great to see. When you look at the schedule that you guys have had to go through, you beat a very good 5A team in Liberty um, and then also had pretty dominant wins against Cactus and Peoria, and they're both in the playoffs. And then, as you said, just uh, had Saguaro on the ropes till the very end. Uh, but just being able to navigate this tough schedule, how do you think that that's helping build into the postseason for you guys as you've had such tough competition? Yeah, that was the plan, you know, when we set up this – schedule a couple of years ago is to have a tougher schedule and hopefully that would you know benefit us later on in the season in the playoffs just having those those games with Liberty and Cactus and Saguaro um, so you know that's that's the plan you know and we're going to continue to work hard in practice and hopefully all that stuff kind of allows us to have some success coming up. It's a brand new season with the playoffs what is the message to this team about getting to the end goal? Yeah, you know, we talk a lot about it. Um, we talk about the process, and that's just something that we've been doing all year. Uh, we're going to take one game at a time. We're going to, you know, pra have a great practice throughout the week to prepare for that each week, um, each game separately. And that's just kind of the focus this week, too. We don't want to look too far ahead, you know, because one slip up and you're done. So we're worried about Apache Junction this week and doing everything we can to prepare for that. It's a very good 4A division this year. It seems like it's wide, more wide open than maybe in past years. Um, for the team that ends up lifting up the trophy at the end of this uh, tournament and uh, you know in the state championship game, uh, what are they going to have to do to navigate such a tough bracket? Well, yeah, I mean, you look at both sides and they're, they're loaded up with a bunch of talented teams, a lot of great coaches. Um, you, you know, if you look um, across the board, there's just a lot of teams that are that could win it, in my opinion. So I think you have to peak at the right time. Your kids have to uh, practice well each week. You have to stay healthy throughout. And, you know, like you said, whoever does end up uh, winning it all and lifts that trophy up is going to earn it for sure. Coach, thanks so much for the time and good luck this week. Appreciate you guys. Thank you. All right, that was Steve Decker from Sunrise Mountain. Uh, this foray, usually Saguaro's had the stranglehold. On, on this division in past years, but um, you know, as we saw in the regular season, Sunrise Mountain uh, was going up against them until the very end. You also have a Higley. You also have a South Point Catholic, a very good Cactus team as well, as well as uh, the aforementioned Saguaro Sabercats. But uh, really interesting stuff from Coach, um, and uh, going to be a really fun bracket this year. Well, you know what I thought was interesting is you brought up the number one seed, and he, they kind of discredited himself. Mm -hmm. I mean, they did work for that number one seed, but he said in his eyes, Suarez is that number one seed. And I mean, that's there's an argument for that. Right. But don't discredit yourself, Coach. Right. And, put in and the Eric Sorensen last week had a very good point um, when we were talking about the Scottsdale schools that a lot of times when Saguaro takes the field, it's almost like they've already beaten the mm -hmm. team. 
Sunrise Mountain isn't one of those. I think go, playing them so tough this year, uh, that's one that they aren't going to be intimidated. So um, a lot of really interesting stuff here in the 4A bracket. We're going to jump to 5A uh, here in the next couple of minutes. We're going to have Patrick Nugent on from Sienega, and that's coming up next on the Friday Night 360 AZ Preview Show.